Hello guys, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna do a little tutorial about um, how to install Overwatch on Mac, and it simply ba like covers everything you need from how to install it, what you need, and stuff like that. So let's get started. So why am I making this video? Okay, first of all, um, I'm waiting for Overwatch to get downloaded, which will take about I don't know some time. Either way. Uh, so I decided to make this video for you to be able to play it as well. So first of all, as you can, as you all know, Overwatch is not supported for Mac. But does that really matter? Uh, as you can see here, Mac actually has Bootcamp Assistant pre-installed, which means that Apple knows this is gonna happen sometime. So let's get started. First of all, what you're gonna need is an 8 to 16 gigabytes USB um, driver. Okay. Now, why do you need a uh, 16 gigabytes or an 8 one? Uh, 8 is the minimum. I think you could go for 4, I'm not sure. But I think 8 is the best thing you could get. And 16 gigabytes, you know, just just in case. So I got the 16 one. It's basically very cheap. It's $10. So. And then you're going to uh, download the Windows 10 Pro file. Okay. This will be the ISO image of it. And uh, this, this is what allows you to install it onto the USB. Now, next thing you're gonna need is the Bootcamp Assistant, which is found on your Mac. You could go from here to search Bootcamp, and it will show up. Or you could also press F4, and go here to Other, and you can see Bootcamp Assistant here. Now, uh, what we're gonna do right now is not install it, because um, uh, I already have it installed, so, it will erase the windows but anyway I just want to apologize sincerely because um, my Windows screen recorder has some audio issues so the microphone gets really fuzzy there now I don't know why but I'm gonna record this on the Mac and maybe include some screenshots or you know a little snips of Windows anyway here are just some of the troubles I faced while installing boot camp assistant first of all since my connection is pretty slow and I had to download this Windows 10 Pro externally, not uh, using Bootcamp, uh, I did the same for the Bootcamp support software. Okay, now you're gonna say um, why it's only 500 megabytes, but some people actually suffer from this because uh, the Apple servers decrease your internet connection further, and in the you know like third world countries like Lebanon, for example, like me. Uh, I can't actually download it because it will uh, keep failing because the connection is too slow. So I downloaded it uh, standalone from, you know, like a simple Safari or Chrome website. I'm going to show you how to do this. So you're going to go to apple.com and after you go to apple.com, you want to go to the search bar and just type bootcamp. Now after you type bootcamp you're gonna see a lot of results, choose the second one, let's wait, okay, choose the second one, I, I don't know if it's still gonna be the second one, but either way, so this one is the 5.5.5769, it's okay, you don't have to memorize it, just get the latest, just click on it and then you're gonna download it, okay, mm -hmm. as you can see here the connection is pretty good. Just click download and it will download onto your download file a folder. Here there is also how to install the bootcamp software, but that's a whole other issue. So I'm gonna tell you in conclusion what you're gonna do. So this is the bootcamp software. Just copy all these three files onto your USB after you do this step. You're gonna go to bootcamp assistant, continue. Here instead of remove Windows 7 or later version, you're gonna select create Windows. 7 or later version install disk and just uncheck that. Now this one will be installed Windows 7 but since I already have it installed so it's showing me the removed option. Either way, uncheck it. Um, as soon as it starts downloading the software because you can't actually you know like not download the software while you're creating the Windows disk just um, let it uh, start downloading and cancel it. What you're gonna have now is a USB which has the uh, Windows software embedded onto it. What you're gonna do next is copy this um, 
folder right here, which is the bootcamp 5.2. I don't know what it's going to be called for you. So just copy them onto the USB folders, you know, like the main folder. Don't go into the subfolders, just copy them to the USB. Now, next, you, you might want to do this. Either go here and just to check install Windows 7 if it recognizes your USB, or you're gonna have to do the other thing, which is, which I had to do once because I've actually installed Bootcamp five times because I always had issues and gave up in the end, but this time it worked. So you could also restart or shut down your computer and turn it back on while using the Alt key and the Power key. Just click the Power key and release it, then keep clicking the Alt key or the Option. And just insert your USB uh, before shutting it down. And what you're gonna have is two options to boot up to your macOS or to boot up using your USB. You can click with the USB, it could have installed it on your partition. And uh, remember, when you're gonna partition Windows, uh, it's gonna take a lot of space. Um, not like uh, the raw Windows, it's gonna take a lot of space, but you will love Windows, you will appreciate it more. But uh, to be honest, the macOS is very amazing, but the Windows OS is very fast. So I still miss the macOS since it's very easy to use, it has a lot of accessibility features and uh, just plain casual. It's the most casual macOS um, operating system ever. So yeah, you go do whatever you want, but I recommend giving the best space to Windows. Okay, now um, the next thing we're going to do is this thing, Fiverr. Now, this is not crucial since if you have $40 in your account, but some people like me just, you know, like, uh, don't want to do the hassle of telling your parents you're going to buy a $40 game and stuff like that. Although they would buy it, but it's just, uh, you know, like, they don't think it's worth it. And they're going to keep like, oh, you bought a $40 game. Either way, enough about my life issues. We're gonna go to Fiverr so we can get the game for free. Now, unlike other software uh, and websites which people tell you about to get money from, which will be like how to win Steam cards by uh, you know downloading apps and stuff, that stuff doesn't work. And I've tried it a lot, but it truly doesn't work because you're gonna have to collect a lot of money and a lot of apps, which are and sometimes you run out of, you run out of offers, and that's it. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to get real money for free. And this does not apply only for Overwatch, you can buy CSGO skins on here. Let's just tell you why I use this site. First of all, what is this site? This site allows you to sell your services. So let's say I'm good at Photoshop. I can sell my services and create Photoshop posters and flyers and stuff like that. Like maybe also editing and stuff. So I do that right here. And I've also earned $40 just this week, okay? I've earned around $200 on this site, but uh, it got shut down uh, um, last year, or I don't know when, so I lost my account. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to counter that, okay? So first of all, what are the pros and cons? The pros are it's a very good website, you can easily get money and uh, hassle free and it's also withdrawable to paypal a revenue card which they give you or a bank transfer which is very amazing the cons are you have to wait 15 days to clearance you know like after the order is finished you're gonna have to wait actually 15 days till you could use your uh, funds to whatever Okay, and the next, you know, like thing that uh, really, you know, brings the site a little bit down, which are the tax fees. Of course, Fiverr has to earn some fees, but they do not take like a 10%, they take a whopping 20% for tax. And this is uh, excluding the PayPal account um, fee. So if you're going to transfer your uh, cash to PayPal, you're going to have to pay 2% of the amount. So it's basically one dollar here, a little bit less, but it's still a loss. Uh, now this is basically it. Fiverr is a very good experience. I'm gonna link you with my most selling gigs in case you want to help me sometimes. Anyway, um, 
after you go in, oh yeah I want to show you this uh, you can see this icon right here right this is the Zenimate this is a VPN changer and I also recommend it for whatever thing you want to do now the thing is if I turn it off uh, and I go to Fiverr you can see an error here which is the 403 error now this is simply because Fiverr is not supported in my country now you're gonna say okay it's not supported in your country how can you trust it to keep your money the actual thing I also have my PayPal account set to not Lebanon so I have it set to United States or something I think and this will allow me to you know like transfer my credits and earnings onto PayPal hassle-free so just put it onto the US and just Fiverr way. Okay, now we're done with Fiverr. We have Battle.net. Again, I'm sorry I can't preview this in Windows. I'm gonna try to and maybe do a little over, you know, like over sound or something like that later. But okay, so first of all, you're gonna download Battle.net. I, uh, if you live in Lebanon or okay, that's a little precise. If you live somewhere in the Middle East, something near Europe, and you select Europe because it is the best option since I don't know actually if it does if it does uh, affect your gameplay like maybe ping or stuff but I selected the European server and for some reason the game is more expensive there it's for 40 euros instead of 40 dollars which is like five dollars difference so what you want to do is uh, just install your battle.net to the European server if you want then you want to go to us.battle.net let's just close Zenmate since it does get in the way of your connection speed so as you can see here the overwatch um, can be bought from here and it's for $40 only so this is a fix for your overwatch problems um, you know like the price problems now to be honest I haven't yet tried overwatch because it's still downloading uh, but you also want to keep in mind that um, I'm gonna do an updated video when this actually when I get to play it and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of bootcamp and now one thing that I forgot to mention is that you're gonna face a lot of issues with bootcamp the first issue is that you're gonna have some driver issues okay as you can see uh, you want to click if you uh, if the you know like the drivers like the network driver and stuff don't work You have to install them manually by going to the USB you created Click on bootcamp drivers or you can click on setup But this doesn't usually work if the drivers didn't install because this is probably the problem of this And then go to Apple install all of these click on them and you're also going to click on bootcamp MSI it might not work, uh, I forgot exactly what the fix was but I'm gonna post it in the comments section and tell you what it was and how to fix it or just link the video um, now for the connection and the network uh, drivers here they are uh, Broadcom Wireless and Ethernet and I recommend installing the Windows 8 one because I don't know, it's closer to Windows 10 actually I can recommend it because I don't know the difference but I did the Windows 8 driver so yeah that's pretty much it and I do also recommend you go to Google and type and I will put the link in the description the command to control a uh, key switcher regedit uh, file so this will allow your command and control key to be switched in Windows OS why do you want to do this because first of all the command C command V and command X and stuff like that are really accessible so you don't have to like bend your fingers to get them. It's they're just there. You need to press them. So so the keyboard uh, for the Mac OS is actually optimized for some Mac OS shortcuts. So it makes sense if you use them. Same for Alt F4, but I still haven't figured out how to change that without changing my Q function. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video, and I hope you really. I don't know why I suddenly got British right there, but either way. So I hope you like it, I hope you benefit from it, and just play Overwatch hassle-free. And uh, I do recommend installing Windows simply because it runs a lot smoother than macOS simply for gaming. As you can see here, I have Counter-Strike Global Offensive here, 
and it runs very smoothly on Windows compared to this with low resolution. I play it with, I don't know, like uh, 720p's and it gives me 50 or maybe 40 frames per second and it has a lot of tearing and it's just an unpleasant experience to play games on a Mac. So I do recommend Windows install everything you have there. I also installed CSGO on uh, Windows and I prefer playing there. I barely play it here. I actually I even uninstalled it from Mac. It's just an icon. Oh no, it's gonna download it now. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it and see you in Overwatch.